man, did you get enough tickets for all your people yet? I'm still working on that. I'm still trying to figure out, you know, who's who all coming and, you know, uh, how I'm going to get all the tickets and everything like that because obviously a lot of people want to come. It's my last opportunity for a lot of people to come see me play. And like you said, it's a homecoming game for me, which I'm really excited about, uh, you know, just, you know, playing at Boston College, which was like my dream school when I was a kid coming up and everything. So I'm just excited for the opportunity this week. Having done it before, are the nerves kind of gone or do they still come back a little bit with going up there? Oh, no, never, not, never really nervous. I mean, uh, you know, just more excitement, uh, just more angst, or, more angst than anything, not really nervous or anything, just always ready to play, always looking forward to it, uh, always looking just forward to the opportunity to play, especially in front of you know, family, friends, and loved ones. Just yeah. How about like some special things players go back home, think this will be the week where you finally get a snap? Um, well, that's a good idea. I didn't really think about, uh, you know, uh, trying to put that in his head. But, hey, I mean, that will that'll, that'll be, that'll be a nice thing, you know, going home and getting that opportunity. We'll see what's in store. So. How much more special does it make it that you're able to accomplish, uh, you know, one of your team goals uh, where the Orange Bridge is on Saturday? No, that's def- you know, it's th- that time of year where, you know, it feels like, you know, every week from here on out we're going to be in Orange Pants. Uh, um, you know that that's uh, you know great in its in itself and exciting always. You know when we put those orange pants on, you know it's time. You know championships on the line. It means it's all business and it makes it that much more special for me personally that I got a chance to do that. You know in front of in front of my my home crowd and everything. So second trip up to Boston College for you. Game day is going to be there. Boston College is really hyping this one up. It's probably the biggest game in years for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you tell the players, the, the, the uh, underclassmen that, that you are traveling with? Yeah. And, uh, and the would you well, well, no. The first, well, first, um, you know, the bigger the game is, the smaller you got to make it. That's something I learned as a as a young guy. You know, it's you know, it's just another game, really. Uh, you prepare the same way. You don't do anything different. You know, you don't try to be a hero, nothing like that. Just just do what you do. Prepare the way we prepare. You'll be fine. Uh, I just do know that you know you give Boston fans something to cheer about. You know uh, that they're, they're going to cheer and they'll be excited. They'll be you know rowdy and everything like that. So I mean it's going to be a lot on the road. It'll be a great environment, something to look forward to. So we're just going to have to go in there uh, with the right mindset uh, and just and just prepare like we help, like we always do throughout the week and just you know whatever whatever adversity uh, that we're dealt with, anything like that. Just you know just keep playing. We'll be fine pretty much. So. Uh, no, it's definitely big. Uh, you know, well, one for me, uh, you know, my, my body, I definitely feel it. Like, I, I don't feel as, as fatigued at this point throughout the season, which will be huge for, you know, later, games later in the season where we'll have to go the distance or, you know, my body will be able to hold up for the most part. Um, and also just for, it's huge for the experience for the younger guys. Uh, that's always a big thing, just the development of our team and the development of the of the young guys. Uh, it's, it's critical that they get those snaps and that playing time. So it's always fun to see. Um, so that's, and just good to see the guys develop and everything like that. So the, 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 the it's, it's been, it's been good. Definitely the, the less amount of snaps I've been getting. How difficult is it to kind of, to pull back in that way? Cause I'm sure you get very antsy and you want to be on the field, but, but how difficult is it to just kind of pull back and know that this is for a greater goal? It's not, it's not really difficult at all for me. Um, you know, it's kind of an incentive do my job, get out early and, you know, and just let the young guys play and get that experience. Uh, so it's always big. So, um, you know, it's definitely just a little bit, a little bit more motivation and, you know, I'm always happy for young guys to get their opportunity, uh, and 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 it makes me feel better, you know, as a as a leader and just as an older guy that you know we did our part, you know, and, and now it's chance for the young guys to get their opportunity. Back to Saturday, uh, Dexter finally got to the end zone. Mm-hmm. Uh, talk about what you guys saw in the play and, and, and uh, when you got in the end zone, what did you tell him? You guys got oh no, I was just really excited for Dexter, obviously, because you know he's been. He's been a little upset around here that uh, you know he hasn't got his opportunity. He said he wanted to change his position from D tackle to decoy because that's all he's been doing is just blocking uh, and just really you know he's not getting any love. Uh, but um, but no, I was really happy for Dex. Obviously, I'm, I was just a little upset that you know he doubled my my rushing total. Uh, you know mine was one yard, his was two. But I did it first though, so you know uh, he won't he won't ever be first, even though he's got more yards than me. Uh, on his carry, but now it was definitely you know big big time. It was big time for him. Uh, really excited. Try to pick him up. Try to tackle him. Uh, but he's a big boy, so I didn't get to do that. But now it was definitely definitely fun to watch. Fun to see. Christian, you all held uh, AJ <clears throat> 57 yards on 18 carries last year. How were you able to do such a good job containing him? 
Uh, well, just everyone's just going to have to do their job, uh, you know, whatever whatever that is, uh, whether, you know, your job is to take on the double teams, uh, you know, shoot the gaps, just whatever, you know, like everyone's just got to, we just got to play team team defense and sound defense. Uh, just be disciplined, be clean, be sharp. Uh, whatever our job is, you know, just get it done. And we have to be able to tackle because he's a big back. Um, you know, they got they got two really good backs. Uh, and just and just they just do a lot of different things that could be a challenge for us. So we just got to lock in on it each each play, and that starts just with our pre- pre- preparation throughout the week. So. Is he the hardest back you've had to tackle? No, nah, he's definitely he's definitely a load. Uh, he's he's one of the one of the hardest for sure. I got a lot of respect for him as a player. Uh, you know, just just going up against him and seeing seeing what he does. Uh, you know, week in and week out, it's just it's impressive for sure. Going back to those young guys for a second, you guys lose a lot of leadership once you guys clear out of here. A lot mm-hmm. of Uh, well, yeah, there's definitely a few guys that, you know, who could who could maintain and, you know, definitely take what they learn and, and bring it into their own leadership styles for next year. Uh, I'm just trying to, I, for the most part, I try to focus in on my room and on the D-line because uh, I know what type of tradition we have there and just, you know, how we how the guys before us set the standard so high. And we try to, we put so much pressure on ourselves to even elevate that from a leadership standpoint and just from, you know, uh, on, on and off the field and things like that. But I'd, um, I'm hopefully that, you know, the guys in my room, Niles, Jordan, they'll, they'll all come along and, you know, be able to be good leaders for this team next year. What would it mean to you to accomplish another goal of the team here, which is winning fourth straight ACC Atlantic Division title? You've obviously been a part of the previous year. Yeah, no, it's definitely, it's definitely going to be special, um, you know. Opportunities like like this don't come around very often, and you know, just for me to be a part of something that that could be so special, uh, you know, it's just gonna, it's going to be great. Um, you know, so to, just just a little bit more of an incentive to just to do our job this week, and to, and, to, and you know, just and to, to win the win the division title, really. Yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah, definitely. Uh, that's actually my word for this year's legacy. Just you know, not only uh, leave a legacy, but live a legacy. You know, uh, we're doing some great things, and you know, that's something that coach talks about all the time. And you know, that's that's just really what I'm trying to do. How big of a Boston College fan were you growing up? I was a big time Boston College fan. Uh, you know, a lot of those guys, a lot of those players were my heroes growing up. Uh, I was actually close with a uh, with a Boston College player who grew up in Springfield, my hometown. Um, and just you know that, like I said, that was my dream school when I was a kid. It was such a big deal, uh, like you know, as a as a young kid. And and people, uh, if you're from Massachusetts, New England, you know what it means to be able to go to Boston College. Uh, that's that's really the dream for everybody. Uh, so that that was me. Um, you know, I really wanted I wanted the you know opportunity to play there uh, and everything. It was actually like in recruiting, I got really close with them. And you know, obviously things changed as I got older, but that was my dream school when I was a kid. So it's, it's, it's real, I know how special it is to, to play this guy. Uh, Ron Brace, uh, BJ Raji, uh, Matthias Kiwanuka, all those guys, uh, you know, they had Matt Ryan, Herzlick, they had a bunch of guys who, you know, who were just all fun to watch and, you know, really drew my attention and made me a big fan of Boston College. Well, what was it that kind of changed in recruiting? Uh, well, just you know, just I got older, just things changed. Just thought, just thought differently about recruiting. And I grew as a man and knew what I wanted in the school. So, and Clemson obviously was the was the best opportunity, was the best option for me. So, uh, I when I was young, I <clears throat> I didn't really go to much games, but I always watched them on TV. Went to a few games as a recruit and things like that. So that was always a real cool experience. Just to, just to finally get in the stadium and and and, and enjoy a game. Oh yeah, no. I want, I want, I want the most New England, Massachusetts, Boston conditions possible. I want it to be negative forty degrees. I want snow. Like I want all of that. And I'm not. And I'm playing with no sleeves, nothing warm. I just want. I'm just so excited for the opportunity uh, to just to go back home. I want, I want it to feel like home when I get back too. Like a, like how it should be in in, in uh, mid November. So. I definitely wanted to be, uh, you know, I would want all those conditions for sure. How did the experience change from watching college as a, or watching Boston College as a fan to being recruited by them to now being a player playing against them? Oh uh, well, the well, just you know, as a young guy, you're a fan, and then being recruited, then you got to start making some more like decisions for that are best for you, and you know what you got to do as a man. And then now playing against them, like you know, I'm not, I'm not a fan at all. I just want to crush them. You know, that's my mindset. Just just want to win the game. Like, I mean, afterward, after the game and stuff, I'll appreciate. You know, I'll look up, enjoy being in the stadium, things like that. But um, my, you know, I'm like, I'll I'll, rem- I'll like 
reminisce more once the game's over, I guess. So. <laughs> just uh, you just got to get your best athletes the ball. I mean, I'm, the, I'm hands down the best athlete on this team. I mean, so give me the ball. Plain and simple. <laughs> uh, he, he gives me a hard time. Uh, you know, I, there's a lot of reasons why he, he don't he doesn't want to do it. But I mean, there's more there's more reasons uh, why than than why not. So you know. Uh, he actually played in the in the same league uh, as me and stuff. And uh, the year after I left, uh, luckily for him, uh, he played my he played my team. Uh, he actually played my, my Suffolk Academy in the in a bowl game uh, the year after I left. Uh, so, but yeah, I was aware of him, and uh, you know, just he started to get some buzz around the area and stuff, and started to get recruit, recruited highly and things like that. So, uh, he, he uh, definitely, you know, I knew about him, you know, while he was in high school and things. Celtics sandals there. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. How much did you enjoy the Red Sox title? Oh, that was big time. I'm so happy we got we, we got to win it. Um, just another title, another title to add to Title Town. You know, it was just it's cool. I enjoyed watching the, the World Series and, and things like that. Big diehard Boston sports fan. Ho uh, hopefully, the Celtics can get it done this year, uh, and the Patriots too. So.